another update on Project Evo 10. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit because this is actually not our car. We've already got the camshafts in our project car but it's our another one of several cars that we're using to back-to-back -back test the fitment of aftermarket camshafts. Now typically in the past with the variable valve control timing on the Mitsubishis and the Subarus, aftermarket camshafts for a period of time really didn't make a lot of big, big differences. These days now though, with the progression of the technology of tuning the factory ECU in combined with some good profiles and durations, there is proving to be more benefits to be gained. And the Evo 10 is looking like, and can certainly be guaranteed now because of the testing we've done, as having a really good upgrade. However, it must be chosen to be done at the right time. Don't just go whacking a set of camshafts in and expecting to get a really good result. The important thing that we need to do first is make sure we've got the right batch of parts to get the best performance out of the camshafts. And what we're doing typically is the XB power kit first, um, down, modified downpipe, and then around that level of modifications, give or take a little bit, we then fit the aftermarket cams, which you can see in this graph that I'll show you now, is a dramatic upgrade in mid-range torque and grunt. Now, remembering that the camshafts were not chasing big top-end power, we're looking to improve the bottom to mid-range drivability of the car. And what I wanted to show you here is exactly the amount of effort that needs to go to fit a set of camshafts on Evo 10. So what you can see here is the obviously the drive chain from the bottom of the crankshaft to the oil pump and back up to the top to the two camshaft sprockets. On the side of it here you can see the cam chain tensioner which is obviously hydraulically operated and one of the big things obviously which is dr clearly obviously different in this particular new Evo 10 engine compared to the previous engines, it no longer has a belt. All the previous models had a rubber tooth belt which was on the outside of the engine, not within the engine so there was no oil in there, had to be replaced every four years or approximately 100,000 kilometres. That now is no longer needed the case on the Evo 10. It's all internal with a chain, more direct drive, obviously doesn't have to be replaced. But it is a very, very big job. So what we'll do is um, we'll go up top and have a look from the top of the engine. Okay, so now we're at the top of the engine, obviously with the Evo 10, um, well actually originally had an aluminium rocker cover, now the newer model Evo 10's got actually a plastic rocker cover which I can show you in a picture here from another car. These are the two um, variable valve control sprockets that attach the chain to the bottom of the crankshaft which obviously connects the top and bottom of the engine together. The next step is to physically pull those camshafts out replace them with the aftermarket camshafts and then the critical element is putting it back on the dyno and doing the custom tune of the factory ECU using of course the Ecutec tuning software to get the most out of it. Don't just put a set of aftermarket cams in your Evo and not tune it and hope that you're going to get a good result because you're really just going to waste your money. The um, end result as you can see again with the dyno graph is a ginormous increase in drivability, grunt and power and certainly well worth the investment in the modification. And um, a few tips and tricks, make sure that you take the time when you are fitting these cams. It is a very, very big job, quite labour intensive as you can see, a um, lot of traps and there's some pretty critical things that must be done specifically carefully putting the camshafts back together to make sure everything goes back to work reliably the way that you would come to expect it. So that's it for now, that's our recent update. Of course, you know where to find more information, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, the MRT website. We've just upgraded the website with a fantastic list of dyno graphs. Of course, you can pick up the phone or send us an email. We'd be glad to help you with your Mitsubishi, Subaru or Mazda. I'm Brett Middleton, thanks for watching and see you again soon.